Recently, I watched an interesting video in which Rob, the channel's creator, makes the claim that the Aquera door and window sensor is twice as good as all of the other contact sensors that he tested. Rob stated that the Aquera sensor was compatible with SmartThings, as well as Home Assistant and Hubitat. But is the Aquera sensor truly the best contact sensor for SmartThings? Let's find out. Welcome to Bud's Smart Home, where we provide tutorials and reviews for devices which work with SmartThings and Amazon Echo devices. Join me and discover how easy it is to achieve the comfort, convenience, and security which results from a well-designed smart home. So back to Rob's review of the Aquera door and window sensor. Rob tested a total of 14 contact sensors, including some of the sensors which I've featured on my channel and use in my home. These include the ring alarm, the Singlid, and the Linkind door and window sensors. Rob built a fantastic testing rig to continuously open and close all sensors at 15 second intervals over a period of four months. I'll leave a link above to Rob's video in case you want to check it out. After reviewing battery life, compatibility, size, range, accuracy, and price, Rob gave the Aquera sensor first place. Second place was awarded to the Ring Alarm sensor, and third place went to the Yolink Outdoor sensor. Now I agree with Rob that the Aquera sensors deserve high marks for the categories of size, battery life, and price. The Aquera sensor is clearly one of the smallest sensors I've encountered, making them inconspicuous and aesthetically pleasing. The sensor's extraordinary battery life is confirmed by the reviews that I've read, and as far as the sensor's price, at $18, the Aquera sensor is among the least expensive contact sensors, being on par with the Singlet and the Ring contact sensors. Now, the least expensive contact sensor is made by Linkind. It comes at a price of around $12. Now, to be fair, I have not personally tested the accuracy and the range of the Aquera sensor, However, the reviews that I have read are mixed. The two main issues specific to SmartThings are in the areas of pairing and reliability. On the subject of pairing, be advised that Aquera sensors require custom device handlers to make them discoverable within the SmartThings app. Additionally, once you get the Aquera device handler installed, you'll discover that pairing the sensor with the SmartThings hub can be a challenge. This is a common concern expressed in many SmartThings user reviews. The pairing button is small and somewhat obscure. The pairing mode only lasts for about a second. As such, you'll find yourself repeatedly pressing this button, trying to get it to pair with the SmartThings hub and get SmartThings to discover the device. What about reliability? More than a couple of Amazon reviews say that it's difficult to keep this sensor connected over time. A couple of reviewers commented that if the hub disconnects, the sensor will go offline and will not reconnect. In my limited testing, I have found the Aquera sensor to be reliable. After pairing the sensor, I let it sit idle for several weeks. When I checked the sensor, I found that it was still connected and working properly. Now, if you want to purchase and install any of the sensors made by Aquera, visit Bud's Smart Home website. On my site, you'll find links to the GitHub installation code for all of the Xiaomi Aquera device handlers. You will also get free access to detailed setup guides for the Aquera door and window sensor, the Aquera Zigbee button, the motion sensor, the temperature and humidity sensor, and the Aquera leak sensor. So do I think that the Aquera window and door sensor is the best sensor for smart things? Aquera's most impressive features are its battery life and size. If you are looking for an inconspicuous sensor that will last twice as long as most other sensors, then the Aquera contact sensor may be the right choice for you. However, Aquera would not be my first pick for a SmartThings window and door sensor. In my opinion, the best overall SmartThings sensor is the AOTech multi-purpose sensor. AOTech's multi-purpose sensor is an out-of-the-box solution that does not require a custom device handler. The AOTech sensor is identical in form and function to the original SmartThings multi-purpose sensor. 
In addition to being a contact sensor, it also detects temperature, vibration, and it can be used as a tilt sensor for your garage door. The Aotech multi-purpose sensor has a price tag of just $37, which is reasonable given that you get four sensors in one. As for my second choice, I would recommend the Ring Alarm Gen 2 door and window sensor. This sensor was also highly rated on Rob's channel. The Ring Alarm Z-Wave sensor is reliable and it's within the same price range of the Aquara sensor. If you'd like to purchase any of the door and window sensors discussed in today's episode, you'll find convenient links below this video. And as always, you'll find detailed installation information and tips on the Buds Smart Home website or on my YouTube channel. Hey, thanks for watching today. Until next time, keep automating and God bless.